eighth grade can be one of the most nerve-wracking years in a student's education. With tons of standardized tests to be taken, dealing with puberty and a myriad of other inconveniences, students often take on more stress than expected. But the most stressful aspect for these students is the dawning of their first year of high school quickly approaching. In November of 2017, Hardin County's Early College and Career Center, or EC3, kindly opens its doors to local middle schoolers. EC3's principal, Mr. Robin, believes this program provides many benefits for incoming students. The biggest benefit for students uh, coming to tour EC3 is that they're going to get a chance to get a glimpse of what our program is all about. Um, they have the opportunity to hear from our students uh, that are currently in the classes, and those students will be able to really give them an idea of things they do on a daily basis, uh, what type of industry certifications they're going to gain from it, and what the overall benefit of as a high school student is to come to EC3. During the tour, each pathway gives a presentation to the 8th grade students led by the students of said class. One of the pathways that gained the most interest by students was the culinary program. I want to do culinary because my dad works, like he's a chef, and I just want to take after him. Students also had a good reception to the many medical programs EC3 has to offer. I like doing math, and they said that if you're interested in doing math and science, you should probably go there. Because many students wish to come to EC3, admissions have become more exclusive and prospective students must meet certain requirements. The biggest things that we really take a look at are attendance, behavior, and grades. The best worker is the one that comes each and every day. So our students know that attendance is a major deal for us. Behavior obviously is a, is a great task for us as well because we're merging students from three high schools together. And then the very last thing for us obviously is grades. Students need to be on track for graduation. We want to make sure that graduation is the ultimate for them. But um, making sure that they are passing their courses because at the end of the day these courses are elective courses and if they are not passing their core content classes, they lose out on electives, so students need to be on track for graduation.